disappearance of soldier Vanessa Guillen in Texas is having an impact across the country. Her family and investigators believe she was murdered. The case prompting one group to say women should not join the military. Eyewitness News reporter Annabel Munoz has more. For many in the Latino community, Fort Hood soldier Vanessa Guillen's story is personal. Her family believes she was murdered on the military base. They say a fellow soldier identified as the main suspect in her disappearance had sexually harassed her and she was afraid to report it. And the fact is Vanessa Guillen could be any one of us, any one of our Latinas and women serving in the military, completely unacceptable that it occurred. LULAC, the oldest Latino civil rights organization, is asking women not to enlist in the army. Right now, the military can't 100 percent guarantee that our soldiers will be safe on U.S. soil in their own military bases. And so we're asking all of our Latina mothers, all mothers who fear for their daughter's life, uh, to take a second look at potential careers. My son is currently in the army serving. He is appalled at what is happening. A group of mothers held a protest in San Fernando today. We will no longer be silent to the injustice that is happening to the Latino community. If this had been a blue eyed, blonde haired young woman, this would have been figured out two weeks ago. Army officials say they are committed to finding out how this happened, while Guillen's family has maintained Fort Hood officials have lied and not been transparent since the 20 year old went missing. They're seeking a congressional investigation. This family is in so much pain. They they just wanted their daughter back home and this it's just an injustice. Remains found Tuesday have not been officially identified. The Department of Justice charged a female civilian in connection with the disappearance suspected of having helped dispose of Guillen's body. Some members of Congress are asking for a thorough investigation by the Department of Defense Inspector General. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.